Today we're going over how to safely operate a centrifuge in the laboratory. We are using a Clay Adams brand Dynac 1 centrifuge with a horizontal rotor. This is an older model that controls the time and speed with dials and it has a toggle switch that is used for the brake function. An important part of operating a centrifuge is balancing. Balancing a centrifuge refers to distributing the load evenly around the rotor head. This can be done with a proper spacing and a proper amount of specimens. If there happens to be an odd amount of specimens, a field test tube with similar weight can be used. Now as you can see, this rotor head contains 8 slots. For even spacing, this rotor head should hold an even number of specimens. For 2 specimens, they should be on opposite sides, and 4 specimens should be in every other slot. When loading a centrifuge, you have to open the lid, place the specimens in metal test tube shaped holders called shields, then place those in a balanced formation inside the centrifuge and then close the lid. For safety reasons, the lid should always be closed and locked if the centrifuge is running. Now here's Danielle opening the lid and placing the shields on opposite sides. Now she's going to inspect the test tubes and make sure they are sealed and intact. You're so professional. Checking for cracks, no cracks. With solid test tubes, she places them inside the shields and closes the lid. Next, we will set the time and speed to start the centrifuge. Starting with the timer, rotate the dial until the desired time is reached. Next, rotate the speed dial slowly to the desired speed. Keep in mind that the rotor will start moving as the dial is turned. Here, Danielle is setting the timer. Now she's setting the speed, turning the dial slowly, and the centrifuge is starting to rotate. And there it goes. When the timer reaches zero, the centrifuge will shut off. At this time, it will either coast to a stop or can be stopped sooner with the brake. To apply the brake, push the toggle switch down, and the brake should be released as it stops or the centrifuge will begin rotating in the opposite direction. Now, after the centrifuge is stopped, the speed dial should be turned to zero, and now the lid can be unlatched and opened, and specimens should be removed and any spills cleaned immediately with 5% hypochlorite. Now, the timer's gone off, and here's Danielle turning down the speed dial letting the centrifuge coast to a stop. Now she's opening the lid and taking a look at the specimens. Looks like we have a little pit formed. Very nice. 